hello guys welcome once again in the last two videos I have been showing you how to use functions in C and in the last video I have shown you how to use a function with arguments or parameters now in this video I'm going to show you how you can use function to return some value right so till now we have been writing functions like this with a void but from a uh, any function you can return some value uh, which can be of any type for example integer double character or a string or anything so let's see how we can use a function to return a value now for example we want to make a function which gives us uh, the product of uh, something this example I have shown you uh, last time if you remember and what uh, I was doing uh, in this function is I was asking the user to enter two values so it says please enter two values number one and I scan uh, first number and I scanned second number and then I passed it passed these two numbers to this function now let's uh, say we want to uh, make a function which uh, gives us the uh, value or product of something and then we want to uh, process this number so we will make a new function here to return some value so for example we want to uh, make a function which gives us the multiplication of two numbers or product of two numbers so uh, and it will return something so what we are going to do we are going to write first of all return value earlier we used to write here void because we were not returning anything but this time we will return some integer from the function that's why we are, we are writing int here right and then write the name of the function for example product this is the name of the function and what this will do it will take two argument int a comma int b and it's going to give us the res result as a product of these two numbers so in order to return some value uh, for example product of these two numbers we use a keyword called return okay and because we want to uh, return product of a and b we can write a asterisk b right so we can return the product of a and b and what this basically mean is this this function will take two parameters a and b and then in here it will uh, make the product of these two numbers a and b and then it will return this number as an integer right and then we can use this number uh, for doing some uh, other uh, mathematical stuff or anything else so for calling this function we can call it just by its name and because we have the code from the last time in which uh, we have declared two numbers and we were asking user to enter two numbers this is uh, really basic so by now you uh, may have known what uh, this code is doing it's just taking two values from the user and then we will pass these two values x comma y to our product function right and then this x comma y will be replaced here in the place of a and b and it will give multiply these two uh, numbers and then it will return the product as an integer so because it's going to return our product we will uh, define an integer for example int uh, P R O D. So this integer we will use integer variable we will use to store the product which will be returned by this product function, right? So product or P R O D is equal to product because this function is going to return something as an integer and we will store this integer which this function is going to return in this. Uh, variable right and then uh, we can print the value of uh, print printf 
and then we can print uh, product is equal to percentage d comma prod which is this one this variable right and let's see what happens when we uh, compile our program i will just make it a little bit smaller so that we can see all our uh, program i will run the program now and it's saying something let's see what's the error and the error here is um, undefined reference to printf so this should be p small right run the program and it says enter first number for example 20 I press enter enter second number for example 30 and when I press enter it gives us the product of these two number which is 600 right and what this has basically done uh, we have given two numbers x is equal to 20 y is equal to 30 so now x is equal to 20 which is uh, replaced here and y is equal to 30 which is replaced here so 20 and 30 is passed to this function and this goes here then it will multiply 20 and 30 and then it will return the result into uh, this uh, variable which we can store okay in a simple uh, you know simple usage if you don't uh, understand still what this is doing then what we can do is we can directly uh, pass two values for example uh, 10 and 60 for example i'm taking simple values so that you can understand so this is basically 10 and 20 we have passed to this function because this uh, function takes integer so we need to pass uh, only integers here right so 10 will be replaced here at the place of a and 20, 60 will be replaced here at the place of b now 10 will be multiplied by 60 and then it will be return and this value we can store it in another variable for example this variable which we can use for uh, something or for example if you want to use this function in or, or this variable for some other use so what we uh, want to do is for example the result result is equal to and then do percentage d and what we want to do is whatever product we are getting from our product function we want to add uh, 10 to it and then show the result okay so i will call product and let's uh, delete this thing for now and we will make it more simple so what we are going to do is we are going to call this function called product and we will pass two values for example we pass this uh, time 5 and 5 once again so 5 into 5 is 25 right this is a simple uh, uh, parameter i'm giving so that we know the result so 5 into 5 is 25 which will be returned by this uh, product and we can add uh, 10 to it 10 to it and the result will be 35 right so let's try and run the program and it says result is equal to 35 so you can use uh, this uh, function which returns integer value uh, as a you know parameter which you can uh, you know do uh, arithmetic uh, operation on this uh, parameter or on this function also so in this way you can use function which returns value okay and don't forget to use this return keyword whenever you are returning anything so i hope you understood the basic concept of a function which returns and i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now